Hi everybody, Stu, AG6AG. Is your hard drive in your computer too small? Are you running out of space? Or maybe, just maybe, that hard drive is starting to throw errors on you. Well, today we're going to use the System Rescue CD to make a block-by-block -block copy of your old hard drive onto a new hard drive. And, as a bonus after that, we're going to show you how to resize the partitions on the new hard drive to take full advantage of a larger drive. Anyway, I hope you enjoy... Oh, and by the way, do me a favor, will you? Click on the subscribe button. It really helps. And, if you like the video, click like. Anyway, let's get to it with System Rescue CD and hard drive replacement. Well, it's me, Stu, AG6AG, and we're all set up now to do our disk transfer. So, just to recap, we are going to install a newer drive that's bigger in our computer, and we are going to transfer all the data and boot information and everything else off the older drive, which is smaller, to the new drive. We're then going to resize it, and change the partition tables in order to be able to take advantage of the entire disk size. And we're going to do all this with the System Rescue CD. Now, <clears throat> as always, we have to get started with something, and let's get started with downloading the System Rescue CD. Oh, but before I do that, I just want to remind you, I'm not showing you how to install this disk in your computer or anything else. I'm making the assumption that you'll be able to get the new disk into the same computer as the old disk, side by side, and you'll know how to remove the old disk and move the new disk to the old disk position when we're all done. Okay? So with that, let's uh, go ahead and get started here. I am going to launch my browser, and we're going to go to the System Rescue CD site. Now, I do this in a couple different videos, so I'm going to go do this fairly fast. Um, System-rescue.org is the site you want to go to. We simply want to go to the download link on the left-hand side, download the AMD 64-bit version right here, which is the uh, third one down from the top in the table. Actually, yeah, yeah. Um, right there. It's going to make us read an ad and project description, some other stuff, and then it's going to give me the opportunity to download it. Go ahead, and once I've downloaded that, I need to burn it to either a CD-ROM or a USB drive. I'm going to do the back arrow, and here it talks about bootable, C, uh, bootable USBs. So understand, if you have a CD burner, okay, and a blank CD, easiest way to get this done is to burn it off to that CD. Okay, and then you can boot off the CD without any problem. The USB install is a little bit more complicated and requires you to download a program called Rufus. Um, as I said, right here under this bootable USB page, it describes that you're probably right here going to want to uh, uh, grab Rufus and follow these instructions to get it set up and burned. Uh, I prefer putting it on a USB drive because, you know, I can always reuse a USB drive. And I actually carry this image on a USB drive in my pocket all the time because I never know when I'm going to need the valuable tools that are on it. Okay? Your mileage may vary, though. So, let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and boot the machine up to the boot screen. One second, please. All right, well, we've gotten ourselves to the boot menu of the System Rescue CD. Uh, I'm going to select the second option here just by moving my cursor down, and this will take the whole operating system that we're going to run off the USB and actually load it into our RAM so it operates a little bit faster, and then, of course, we can unplug that USB if we choose to and still be able to work on stuff, right? So, I hit Enter, and away we go. 
Now, during this boot process, let me talk a little bit about <clears throat> what utilities we're going to be using here. Um, we're going to be using Parted, which is a partitioning tool, but we're only going to be using it to list the drive. We're also going to be using a tool called DD Rescue. And DD Rescue is a modification on a program called DD that's been used in Unix for a long, long time. And basically, it is a direct disk copy. What that means is it copies the disk at a block by block level. What does that give us a benefit of? Well, hey, guess what? The entire drive is going to be an exact duplicate, including the boot sector and the partition table, of the old drive. Now, after we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and use a, a, a graphical tool to expand the disk out. All this on, you guessed it, System Rescue CD. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started here. I need to determine what uh, drive is what and all that good stuff. I'm going to do it the easy way. I'm going to type in parted minus L. And this will allow me to list all the drives and partitions in the system. Okay, it's very important you put that dash L in there. If you don't, it's going to go into a partition and editing tool. And we don't want to edit any partitions. We just want to look at them. Okay, so we can see up here at the top from that command that uh, our disk size, our old disk size at 136 gig is SDA, uh, or excuse me, dev SDA, okay? And we look a little further down and it says, oh, error on dev SDB, unrecognized disk label, but it shows the right size. I expect that. So this upgrade is actually going from 128 gig uh uh, SSD to a 256 gig SSD, right? So everything else looks good. And oh, by the way, it shows that I also have a U or also have a uh, CD-ROM drive uh, that it's unable to determine the system on. All right. So with that, we're set to do our transfer. So we've noted some important things here. Our main drive, our old drive, is dev slash SDA. So you see up there where it says disk slash dev slash SDA. That is the identifier for that entire disk on the Unix operating system. We go down and we see that our larger drive, dev slash SDB, is our new drive. So we need to make sure that we don't write nothing to the old drive because then we wiped out everything, and guess what? We have to install from scratch, and what a nightmare. So, long as we're sure what is what, we can now proceed. Now, the command I'm going to use to transfer the data is ddrescue, or ddrescue, all one word, followed by a space, and I'm going to put the command in here force because I am actually not writing to a file image on another uh, drive while I'm doing this. I'm actually going to write directly to the new hardware. So I have to make sure it knows that I'm sure that I want to do that. Because remember, the destination is going to be completely overwritten. Okay. So I use forward slash dev forward slash sda as my source. My destination is forward slash dev forward slash sdb. All right. That simple. So from sda to sdb. The reason I'm saying this over and over again is you need to be sure you're going in the right direction. Okay. If you go in the right direction, you're going to wipe everything out and you're going to be mad. So just keep an eye on it and make sure you're going in the right direction and we'll be set to go. When I hit enter... I'm going to get a neat little progress screen telling me exactly what's going on. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. All right, we're done. Look at that. All right, how do we know we're done? Well, down at the bottom, right down there, it gives us back a command prompt where we can add more data or execute more commands. And we can see that uh, we had uh, on our little 
informational screen there that uh, it has transferred and rescued the entire disk. Um, and, hey, if I look at all the stuff in the middle, it's telling me basically that it didn't have to trim or try to recover any bad sectors. So that's good. We, knew, we know the old disk is still good. That's, that's important. Now, what I'm going to have you do, believe it or not, is I'm going to have you shut everything down and you're going to pull out your old drive and reposition the new drive where the old drive was. Okay? So let's go ahead and get that done on this machine and get it booted up into Windows. Okay, so we're booted back in. Let's verify that we're all booted off the new drive. Now, when your system comes up, it may want to do a disk repair or some other stuff. That's okay. We have your original disk sitting off on the side now. It's not even in the computer. So we now have the safest backup in the world, which is a disk you can just put right back in to get your system back where it was. So with that, let me go ahead and log in. And once this comes up, I'm going to want to take a, a look at the disk manager. So patience is a virtue, of course. So a couple things for sure. If I click on my uh, um, file explorer and I go to my PC, I'm going to see that it still says it's only 126 gig. Okay, but we know better. I'll show you why. I'm going to go here to my disk management. And by the way, I got there by right-hand mouse clicking the start menu and going to that menu there for disk management. And look, there's our disk zero, and it shows 129 gig of unallocated space. All right, so how do we allocate that? Well, guess what? We got to boot back in to the rescue CD. Now, why did I have you bring this up uh, before that? Well, if there were any disrepairs or anything that Windows wanted to do before we did the uh, whole thing with the partitions, uh, it would have been a good idea to get them done first. So, and by the way, it also makes sure that you have, you're messing with the right drive, the right drive boots, okay, the new one, and, and we're set to go. Anyway, with that, let's go ahead and we will shut down this PC and then boot back into the rescue CD. All right, well, we're back into the rescue CD. So I'm going to execute a command to start an X session. The command is start X. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to launch a very rudimentary GUI interface or, you know, GUI that allow us to do some certain things within the program that make, um, make it a little easier. I could do all this stuff from the command line, but there's a nice little program that's built in that's, uh, you know, a, a graphical user interface that makes this much easier. So I'm going to go down here, and there's a picture of a hard drive, and if I hover over it, it says G parted. I'm going to click that once down here in the bar. And it's going to open up the G parted program. And there I am on the new drive, right? These are all partitions, and here's some unallocated space. So let's do this. I am going to click on this very end partition, which apparently is, I'm going to guess that is a rescue partition. So I'm actually going to click up here where it has a arrow going into a bar. And I'm going to say I want to edit it. Now, I don't want to change its size, but what I do want to do is I want to move it all the way to the end of the drive. Okay? And I'm going to click on Resize Move, and it's going to warn me that I could break something. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to click on this, which was the one that was right next to it, the partition right next to it, and I believe this is the Windows partition based on its size. I am going to do the same thing. I'm going to click that arrow into the bar, 
And this time, I'm going to grab the end of it and drag it straight over, like so. So I'm taking all of the free space, and I'm going to resize the drive there. Now notice I've got some unused space right here, and that's just because of rounding errors. You may or may not have that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make that unused space go to the end of the drive, right? And I will do that just by moving it over, just like that. Not much, about a megabyte. And then, as you see, now that unusable space is all the way down at the end. All right, I'm making all of my changes. Let's go ahead and click on the check mark which says apply all operations and it's going to warn me if I want to apply them all there could be data loss it is possible but guess what we have that old drive sitting off in the corner so I think we're okay so here we go operation completed it says all completed successfully I'm going to go ahead and close and we're done. That's it. That's all it takes. Now, we're going to close out of this. We'll go down to this little um, rat picture, if you can make it out, right over here. And we're going to select uh, um, log out. We'll select log out right there. It's going to drop us back into our uh, main command prompt here. And I'm just going to shut it down and reboot it back into Windows. See you there. Well, we're booted back into Windows. I'm all logged in, came up, few little disk things, but just said yes. And let's take a look. Oh, will you look at that? Our C drive now. 255 gig drive. There we go. We got it all set up. We can take a look right in here under disk management and see that the partition tables and everything else have been changed and everything is fine with it. So, I hope that uh, helps you out. And when you go to change that disk, uh, there's no reason to pay tons and tons of money to have your data transferred. You don't have to do a reinstall. Just check out the system rescue CD. You know, I know those commands are reasonably complicated, but just follow the tutorial and you should be fine. And again, remember, you don't want to mess up between which drives the new drive and which drives the old drive, okay? Keep an eye out for that. So with that, I want to thank you. And hey, do me a favor. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please make them down in the comments down below. I try to answer all questions within a day or so. With that, 73, this is Stu, AG6AG, hoping to hear you out there on the air.